Tennessee Williams Festival has talented actors that portray real life situations that deal with complexities of life through plays. Here to share more with us are the lead actors, Nick Narcissi and Sophia Brown. Welcome to the show. Thanks Thank for having us. And this is the first time you two have worked together. Yep. Yes. So yeah. that's going to be very exciting. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's uh, it's my first time in St. Louis. So it's uh, it's nice to be down here and uh, <laughs> meeting new people and working on this wonderful play. Well, Sophia, we're going to start with you. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit more about the act or the the. Well, you're an actress, <laughs> but tell us a little bit more about the character and and why it appealed to you. Sure. Um, well, Blanche Dubois is a classic role, and she's this kind of southern belle living outside of her time and there's something tragic and relatable about her you know everyone is blanche in a way everyone has this kind of deep soft intimate place that you know sometimes gets broken or ruptured mm -hmm. and what happens afterward is usually the most interesting and did you know a lot about Tennessee Williams before you looked at the play? I did. I, I actually worked with the Tennessee Williams last uh, last year for the festival. Okay, so, so this I is your chance. second time around? Yes. Okay, that is yes. wonderful. Although last year I played exclusively men. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you're very versatile. Yeah. Switching it up, you know, just keep people <laughs> on their toes. And just to do a little bit more digging about Blanche, how did you prepare for that role? Um, I find that creating memories is the most important thing for me, like establishing a history for myself, mm -hmm. creating a home for myself, a life that I had before, secrets, you know, mm -hmm. special experiences that were exclusively mine, things that I can hold and keep inside of myself to remember who I am. And you are actually a Midwesterner. I am. I am. With the whole, whole horse farm and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you want to let everyone know where you're from? Oh, yeah, I'm from Peculiar, Missouri. Mm -hmm. Which is peculiar in itself. It is <laughs> peculiar and special, very small. We have a llama. I feel like that's one of our most peculiar, you know, specialties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and again, you two are working together for the very first time. Mm -hmm. And like you said, Nick, this is the first time you have been in St. Louis. Yeah. So can you let our viewers know a little bit more about what you think of St. Louis? Yeah, St. Louis is uh, wonderful so far. I've only been here for about three days. So uh, okay. I'm still learning, learning my way around. Um, but I have been up in the arch already, okay. so I'm, I'm ahead of, I think, a lot of people. Mm. Okay. Um, you need some Emo's pizza. We yeah, gotta get you there. I, I do. I do. I need to. I need to Pappies, I've heard about. Too, yes. So I have to. You know, I have a lot of places to to eat at. Mm -hmm. That's all I hear about St. Louis <laughs> is how wonderful the food is. So, um, so I'm excited to. Uh, I'm excited to. You know, learn more about the city and. Uh, and uh, you know everything around here too. So well, definitely the city is an important role. I mean, with Tennessee Williams. Absolutely. So yeah. when you read the play, what what were your thoughts and and how did you prepare for your character and let everyone know what character you are playing? Right. So I'm playing Stanley in okay. the uh, in the play, and uh, you know Tennessee Williams grew up here in mm -hmm. St. Louis. He spent about 20 years here, and actually, he worked at a shoe factory downtown. And he, one of his best friends at the shoe factory was named Stanley Kowalski. Mm -hmm. So he bring, St uh, Tennessee Williams brought a lot of his childhood and growing up here in St. Louis into all of his works. Uh, as, for playing Stanley, it's such a tough role because it's uh, so iconic. Marlon Brando originated the role on Broadway and did it in the movie. And, you know, it's built into the cultural zeitgeist of Stella, you know, every, you know everybody knows that. So... Um, it is a it is a challenge to you know make it fresh and make it uh, contemporary to today's audiences, but also uh, ground it in the realism and uh, as a classic that it is. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it's a tough it's a tough role, but it's going to be a blast. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about Stella. I know we're going to talk, we, we have mm -hmm. to take a break first, but we're going to talk a little bit more about how special Stella will be in the next couple of weeks. Because, Absolutely. you know, this is all happening next month. Yes. Can you let everyone know the dates that they can come find you? Yes, yes. So the dates of our festival are May 10th through the 19th um, at the Grand L downtown. Um, and uh, yeah, that's when, we're, <laughs> when we'll be performing and we'll have a few more events through those dates as well. Well, we'll get back to more about those events that are going on in just a few minutes. So Great. stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with the Tennessee Williams Festival after this break.